What do you think of this park up? I love it. It's cool, isn't it? We've run into a bit of a problem. Spin! We're stuck. It's totally bottomed out, so my engine's sitting on the sand. They're actually melting the ramps. So we've got two choices where we go where we go to uh, whoa <laughs> uh, come over this side right we either go to sit up properly don't sit like that right we either go to where we went last week but a bit further along um but i don't know what's around there or we go around the outside of the lake district yeah the outside of it Lake District. Try and find some beaches and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You that's, sure? That's what I want to do. 100% sure? 100! Alright, let's do that then. First stop, of beach. Yeah! We'll go to our usual place tonight because that's on the way. Yeah? Of course it is. Right, we either go to where we went last week but a bit further along. Um, but I don't know what's around there. Or we go around the outside of the Lake District. Yeah, the outside of the Lake District. Try and find some beaches and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah? That, you sure? That's what I want to do. 100% sure? 100! Alright, let's do that then. First stop, a beach. Yeah! We'll go to our usual place tonight, because that's on the way. Yeah? Of course it is. Alright. Join us on our journey around a circular route around the Lake District, we think. That's subject to change. It might change in five minutes. Yeah, it might be like, um, let's go to a beach. Five minutes later, <laughs> nothing. Oh, I know where to go. To uh, explore Smooth Cave. That's a bit far. <laughs> what are you even talking about? <laughs> God, it's going to be a long three days. Wonky teeth. Wonky yeah, teeth. <laughs> Wonky donkey. Wonky donkey. donkey. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. That's what you said. Right, let's go. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> Police will be here if you do that. <laughs> Come on, are we done? Yep. Right, finish and pay. Select the no bags. bags. Check cards. Please follow the instructions on the card reader. Card reader? Scan it on top. Here we go. What are you doing? Shopping. We need to wash the van, it's a right mess. It's not been cleaned for ever. It's not true. Got loads of supplies, lots of junk food, plenty of beer. A receipt. And a receipt, which is... Add, and add a, a bottle of 50. Oh, we're a bit close. There we go. And I've, I've lost the blankets, as usual. Of course you do, it's always in the wrong pocket. It's always in the opposite pocket to the one that you want. Right, let's get in the van. I'm not showing you anything because we've modified the van and it's... I met an old man I said, tell me your story He took out an old pen And wrote something for me Kept walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost And I looked down at what he wrote He said, son, when you grow up you'll be fine 
know you've got questions on your mind Life is gonna happen one way or the other Whether you like it or not Stop looking for the answers And you'll find what you've got Wow what a find. What do you think of this place then? Amazing. Yeah? Yeah. The sun's just going down. You see it through the trees. The last few people who've parked up for the day are going. Just heading off now. There's a couple of cars parked up with some younger people in. I'm sure they won't be hanging out around for too much longer. going all over my hand. <laughs> Look at that beauty. That is super dark. It's like black gold. Oh wow. It's like lava. <laughs> Good morning. Morning, Daddy. How are you? Good. Yeah? Yeah. What's the plans for today? I don't know. Go somewhere? What do you want to do today? I don't know. Anything. Anything? Yeah. Well, you said you wanted to go to a beach, so... What's Ooh. inside here? don't know. A rock. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was one of those thingies that you want. What about if we went to something like a castle or something? <gasps> yeah, yeah! An old ruins. Yeah, yeah! Mm -hmm. That's what we might do today. Go and see if we can find some old <clears throat> castles or something. Yeah. What do you think of this park up? I love it. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's better than our normal one. That's... This is our favourite one. What's going on with your hair? <laughs> I don't know. You look like Wurzel Gummidge. Daddy won't brush it for me because he can't remember where the brush is. Okay, well it's your brush. You're responsible for your things, not me. Oh, that's not true. Right. Huh? Let's go see if we can actually find that brush. And then we'll uh, play ha football. Have a little walk around here and see what we can find. Yeah. Yeah. Here's one. What? Jellyfish. Jellyfish? Mm-hmm. Two of them together. Yeah. Oh, bumblebee there. What? Buzzy bumblebee. Well, we've run into a bit of a problem. We're stuck. For the first time. So, so, yesterday I drove through this deep sand and there wasn't a problem. So when I left, I decided I was gonna drive across the grass. But what's happened is, for some reason, that wheel must have spun and it just sunk and the front of the van has bottomed out. Um, you, you probably can't see it, but it's totally bottomed out. So my engine's sitting on the sand or the bottom of my engine and I don't have anything to get me out. So I was trying to be sensible and 
as I said, go across this bit here and use the grass to get out. And I think I had really good traction on this side and nothing on that side and it allowed the wheel to spin. Should have just gone through the deep sand. So I don't have anything to dig me out apart from a bowl. So the plans of going home to sort out the van today may be abolished while we try and work out how to get out of deep sand. The problem is I want to go forwards because I believe I'm going to get more traction from that where that grass is because it'll just grip on there rather than this deep sand. But the engine's bottomed out so in order to do that I'd have to get under the van and dig out all the all the sand that's underneath so the problem is if I go backwards I might dig myself even deeper and then not actually be able to get out. It's a good job it's a bank holiday weekend because that means we've got three days to sort this out. Right then, are you ready? No. <laughs> I told you van life isn't all rosy. It's not about opening your back doors onto paradise. It's about dealing with problem after problem. Yeah, front one's gone down as well now because I was trying to move it and spin. It was spinning. So, Jesus Christ, I don't know how I'm going to do this without a shovel. Hmm. What a mess, what a mess. Right, I'm gonna see if I can get anything under these wheels. Maybe maybe there's some wood lying around or, you know, there's, there's a couple of Harris fences over there. I might drag one of those over and try and get it under the wheels because that'll allow, that'll allow the wheels to grip. But again, if I'm already stuck, um, the sump is touching the sand, then it's gonna be very difficult for the van to move because the wheels are just gonna be free to spin. Well, in times like this, you've got two options. You either get stressed out. Or just dig yourself out. Or you just, yeah, you just think about, I, it's not gonna be here forever, is it? I'm gonna get out, so I just need to work out the solution. Right, less talking, more what? digging. Right, well, we've made a little bit of progress. I remembered I've got the ramps in the back. So I dug out a big hole behind the wheel, <clears throat> put some stones underneath, and then put the ramps there and slammed the ramps under as far as I could and it gripped instantly and went back onto the ramps. So I've now got a little bit of clearance under the front wheel. Um, under the engine now, it's not touching now. So what I'm thinking is either to go back and put stones underneath, but I think I might get stuck, or to try and dig some of that bottom bit out and then put some, try and find something to go under here to make a, a path to get out. But we're getting there, we've got progress. That was the hardest bit, getting the bottom off. She's just making sandcastles. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and see what I can find. But that's our sp that's our spade. The shop. From the camping shop. Right, I need your help now. We're going to try and find something to put under the front wheels. Okay. Come on. Right, so we've managed to find some house bricks on the beach. Um, so what I've done is I've lifted the van up now using the ramps and then I've packed house bricks all together. Hopefully they don't spin and sink. They shouldn't do because they're all together. And I've done the same on this side and I put it at a slight angle because I want to come this way a little bit. But I think if I can get onto this grass, I'm going to be okay. I don't think I'm going to sink in this. Just have to watch out for this huge bit of whatever that is. Um, I think what I also need to do is just make sure that this is a bit flatter because I don't want the back getting caught as we come through. So I might just try and move it onto this grass. Um, if I put a little marker here so I know where my front wheels need to be. Um, if I just remember these, this little cairn of stones and we'll give it a go. Right, let's see what happens. Just put a few more in, just for good measure. Yay. Hope you don't. I've got a good feeling about this. Spend.
back to where we was before. Bottomed out again. Right, we've ended up on top of one house brick on this side. The other side's got onto the bricks and the other side was the problem. So I think what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to put a bit of something under here and try and get onto the ramp. And if I can get onto the ramp, we might be able to get out. Yeah, we might be able to get progress. I think I need something hard under this though, just to stop it from sinking. It's got a lot of gaps in it, so I can get. I was thinking that exact brick. <laughs> was you? Yeah, I was. It's just pure deep sand. There's nothing. Um, there's nothing else. It's good that we've got on a brick though. I'm, I'm glad we've got onto the brick. Yeah. Feel like that's low enough. That's very tall. Right. Hopefully that works. That should move us onto that. Let's try that. Yep. Take five. Run the thing on the day. Yeah. All right. So, while my dad, well, my daddy does um, the digging out, I'm gonna be looking for my breakfast bowl all around this massive beach. Well, hello, sea. Is the tide coming in or what? Right, we've uh, managed to get out of a massive hole onto the bricks. I've managed to move the ramps to the front now on both sides. I've let some air out of the tyres, which I didn't want to do because I was bottomed out. And if you're bottomed out and you let air out of the tyres, then obviously you're going to go lower down. So I waited till I've managed to get myself up a bit. So I'm hoping now that I can just edge my way forward and use the bricks and ramps to get onto the hard, the hard uh, stuff. Yeah. And hopefully there's nothing blocking us on both sides. Yeah, we're pretty good. Right. still stuck after two hours we've moved probably about two meters we're almost there we're almost there i'm just stuck on this ramp here now um i've got this side sorted we're good on this side we're almost on the grass uh, we, we have come a long way actually we've probably come about three meters which doesn't sound far but it is far but interestingly because the ramps are, the wheels are spinning on the ramps they're actually melting the ramps which is not ideal um but I think we're going to be out of here soon. Let's keep going. We're out. Four hours. Four hours of hands and knees digging. Completely covered in sand. Yay! We've got two ramps which to be fair if we didn't have these ramps we wouldn't have got out it was uh, absolutely impossible so i ended up getting a, some bigger heavier bricks and i just managed to get traction pretty quickly but <laughs> it might sound like an obvious thing to do and this beach is full of stones but they're all cylindrical and circles um, so i had to walk about 500 meters to carry these and they're about 25 kilos each <sighs> but we got there just gotta hope we don't get stuck on the rest of this now but this is uh 
<laughs> this is um, not what? as deep. Not well, I don't know. I better actually check, otherwise we're going to have to drive through that bush. I actually drove on this. No, this is solid. We're not going to get stuck on that. I actually drove on this a while ago, so... Right. Let's see if we can get out of it. I think I'm going to stop at McDonald's. We've done it. We're back on the track. I only got stressed in the last probably literally probably the last five minutes um, because I'm getting hungry look you can see where we this is the last bit and this is where this is where the front wheel started right here so I've managed to move and it basically I went forward and then if I went if I tried to go any further forward I would just drop and sink so I had to go forward put some under the, the behind the wheels and then go back again and then go forward onto that and then go back onto that. Oh, it was a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. At least we're out now. At least we're out now, yeah. And we didn't have to get recovery and pay a fortune. No. We, all, we did it all for 15 pounds, was it? For the oh, for these? Pounds. Yeah, they were 50 pounds. Can you bring your uh, my breakfast bowl, please? I think I might need a new one now. All right. Have we got everything? Yeah. Got a ball. Yeah, right, let's go home. <laughs> let's go and get some food. Get all the dust out of the van because the van's absolutely caked in dust now. And uh, do you want my dolls? Yeah! yeah. Grab that one for me. Yeah. And throw, throw the ball at me. <laughs> right. I think I'm going to get some uh, proper tracks so I can get out. I've had to let my front tyres down as well, so I'm going to have to pump them up now. Might, we might get home. I've got a, uh, a pump at home, so it'll be easier. Right then, let's get your stuff in and let's get out of here.